Hello, dear brothers, sisters, and friends. I hope you are well and safe. In these difficult times that we are going through, our hearts are restless and disturbed. It's not easy to deal with the chaos around us. It's not easy to deal with the unknown, with grief, with the pain of loss, and with the expectation that the worst can still happen. When we live in times of uncertainty, our hearts break and fear overwhelms us. This was how the disciples felt when Jesus announced to them that he was returning to the Father. What do you mean? Going back to the Father? What will be, what will become from, uh, of us without you, Lord? But then Jesus, before he left, he said these words to his disciples. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I'm going away and I will return I will come to you. I, if you love me, you would have rejoice because I'm going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. Jesus was ready to lay down his life for us. His death on the cross would not be in vain, for Jesus came into the world to conquer death. The Creator God came into the world to live our lives and overcome the power of death that terrifies us. Death was unable to hold him in the grave. Jesus rose and overcame the death and the power of evil to make eternal life possible for us. Before giving his life for us in the cross, Jesus promised two things to his disciples. First, he promised to give them his peace, and then he promised that he would return. Jesus' peace is the peace that comes from, from him and sustains us in the dark, dark days. This peace of Christ is the peace that fulfills our heart and sustains us in times of adversity. This is the peace that takes away fear when we face death. This is the peace that we experience when the Holy Spirit of God surrounds us and comes to live in within, within us. This is the peace of those who await Jesus' return. This is the peace of those who believe and surrender your, themselves to Jesus and give their lives to him. Life is a journey full of joys and also setbacks. Continuing on this journey without the peace of Christ is distressing, especially in times of pain. But Jesus offers us his peace, peace that suppresses understanding, the peace that only those who already know Jesus can have. Do you want this peace? It is at your disposal. Go into your room. Close the door. Bend your knees and pour your heart before Jesus. Ask him for this peace. And the peace of Christ will flood your heart. May God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.